Hello, my name is Neil Gupta. Welcome to this season of, of Kiz Quiz. This is a show of quick recall. It's not a test of intelligence. At home, it's much easier. Let's enjoy the event as our contestants attempt to answer the questions, and we at home know all of the answers. Let's meet tonight's teams from Ashland High School. Their principal is Mr. Bob Lake. The teacher from Ashland High School is Mr. Mario Court. Let's meet the members of the red team. If you could give your first and last name and something that, something that you're most proud of at Ashland High School. And the best thing I like about Ashland High School is the extra courses that it provides. Hello, I'm Michael Ruger, and the best thing I like about Ashland High School is all the extracurricular activities they offer here. Hi, I'm Jacob Boyer, and the thing I'm most proud of at Ashland High School would probably have to be the wonderful and friendly teaching staff. Now let's meet the members of the blue team. If you could also give your first and last name and what you're most proud of at Ashland High School. My name is Preston Milhouse, and I'm probably most proud of our video production department. It rocks. My name is Ed Van Lent, and I'm a junior. I'm most proud of the girls at our school. Um, my name is Nicole Turk, and I'm most proud of our journalism department. Thank you, team members. Let's get started. We will start with the red team. I'll provide 10 questions in the first round to the red team, and then 10 questions to the blue team. Good luck to both teams. Red team, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Question number one. What Jewish holiday is celebrated for eight days in December near the time of the winter solstice? Hanukkah. Hanukkah, that's correct. Question number two. What is the meaning of the root in these words? Credence, discredible, incredulity. to be accounted for or to be credited? That's incorrect. The correct answer is to believe. Question number three. A person must, must stand trial once he has been indicted by what kind of jury? I have no idea. Can you post it in your An open jury? That's incorrect. The correct answer is a grand jury. Question number four. Daniel Boone traveled through the Cumberland Gap near where what three states now meet? Kentucky, Pennsylvania, and West Virginia? That's incorrect. The correct answers are Virginia, Kentucky, and Tennessee. Question number five. Large structures like bridges may be built of many triangles joined together to form a... A truss. A truss, that's correct. Question number six. Completely factor P squared minus 3P minus 4. P minus 4 times P plus 1. That's correct. Question number 7. The last opera by Jacina Rossini was by about what Swiss hero? William Tell. William Tell, that's correct. Question number 8. What presidential appointee oversees U.S. Marshals and federal prisons? The Secretary of Homeland Security? That's incorrect. Correct answer is the Attorney General. Question number nine. The world's first cloned sheep died in early 2003. What's her name? Dolly. Dolly, that's correct. Question number ten. What celestial body that passed close to the sun in 1682, 1758, 
1985 will again pass nearby in 2061 and 2137. Haley's Comet. Haley's Comet, that's correct. Ten questions to the blue team. You ready? Okay, question number one. What name applied to the southern states of the United States is also the title of a song by Daniels? Dixie. Dixie, that's correct. Question number two. Using X as a person's age now, Represent that person's age 40 years ago. X minus 40. X minus 40, that's correct. Question number three. Name the specialized crib used for premature babies in which the temperature and oxygen content can be precisely controlled. Incubator. Incubator, that's correct. Question number four. During the ice ages, what happened to the base levels of the world's rivers? Nothing. That's incorrect. The correct answer is that they were lowered. Question number five. What metallic element is in all of these alloys? Sterling silver, monial metal, gun metal, bell metal, bronze, and brass. Okay, wait, bronze. Ten. Ten. That's incorrect. Correct answer is copper. Question number six. An older, experienced, highly respected, and often retired politician is called an elder statesman. Statesman, that's correct. Question number seven. Queen Victoria carried what genetic disease that killed? Hemophilia. Hemophilia, that's correct. Question number eight. Name all of the adverbs in this quote by Dick Butkus. When I played pro football, I never set out to hurt anybody deliberately, unless it was, you know, important like a league game. Deliberately? That's incorrect. The correct answers are never and deliberately. Question number nine. Name the enormous mountain range that forms the border between China and India. Himalayas. Himalayas, that's correct. Question number ten. What European nation at one time dominated Pakistan and India? Great Britain. Great Britain, that's correct. The score at, at round one is the red team with six points and the blue team with seven points. We're going to go to our first break. Hi, Mr. President. My parents believe that eating meals together will make our country strong. Is this something that you did when you were a kid? I, I, I did eat with my family so long as my mother wasn't cooking. Not good making fun of your mother, even if you are president, but it is good to have dinner with your kids. We know the more often children have dinner with their families, the less likely they are to smoke, drink, and use drugs. So simply having dinner together can help your children forever, even if you're not a great cook. My name's Andy McDonald. I ride this useless wooden toy for a living. It's hard. I've been doing it for 13 years. I'm still lame. I do a trick called a 540. It took me a good six years to learn. There's a whole generation of skateboarders out there that are just as talented athletically as any basketball or football player. It takes somebody that's not going to be afraid to fall down a lot, because you definitely will fall down. You're not a failure until you refuse to get back up. Drugs are only going to hinder what I'm trying to do. That right there is my idea of getting high. Every trip, every time. California, here I go! Buckle up so you and your friends get home safely. I must scream into the world from the top of some place very high. Seatbelt save lives. Okay. Visit NHTSA.gov. Low and slow. <laughs> My best friend, what are you going to do? Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Transportation and the Ad Council. That is spectacular advice. 
You're a good driver, a careful driver, and you don't stand a chance. Not at a railroad crossing with bad sight lines and no lights or gates, where vegetation, buildings, or hills block your view, where you can't see the train and you only have seconds before it hits your safe, careful self and you die. Go to angelsontrack.org to report dangerous crossings because careful is just no match for a 200-ton locomotive. Welcome back to Kids Quiz. My name is Neil Gupta, and today with me are, are the high school teams, the red team and the blue team. At the conclusion of round one, the red team has six points, and the blue team has seven. As we go into the second round, ten questions go to the red team. Are you ready? Question number one. A 26.5-mile wall was built in 1961 that prevented people living in one side of what European city from traveling to the other. It is no longer standing. Berlin. Berlin Wall. The Berlin Wall. That's correct. Question number two. These words describe which planet? One side receives sunlight for the equivalent of 90 Earth days and then rotates into freezing darkness for 90 Earth days. The side facing the sun reaches 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Mercury? Mercury, that's correct. Question number three. What kind of heat energy is released at Earth's surface through geysers, mud pots, and hot springs? Geothermal. Geothermal, that's correct. Question number four. In Peru, they created a powerful empire of perhaps six million people, developed a complex political system, and built a vast network of paved roads. Name these pre-Columbians. The Incas. The Incas, that's correct. Question number five. Where are you if the stars circle the sky parallel to the horizon? The North Pole. The North Pole, that's correct. Yeah. Question number six. The chemical symbols for the main components of steel are Fe and O. That's incorrect. The correct answer is C. Question number seven. You bought a fancy new carbon fiber tennis racket for $250 and had to pay an additional $20 in sales tax. What is the tax rate? Eight percent? Eight percent, that's correct. Question number eight. What figure of speech is in this example? The fog in London was so thick that, de that day that they used it to stuff pillows. Hyperbole? Hyperbole, that's correct. Question number nine. The claw of a bird of prey is called? A talon. A talon, that's correct. Question number 10. What patriot group was incited by Samuel Adams in 1773 to dress as Indians and dump cargoes of tea into Boston Harbor? The Sons of Liberty. The Sons of Liberty, that's correct. That concludes round two for the red team. For the blue team, your ten questions. Are you ready? Question number one. What artery has the largest diameter? The carotid artery. The 
That's incorrect. Correct answer is the aorta. Question number two. What term indicates any cloud that produces precipitation? Cumulo. That's incorrect. Correct answer is nimbus. Question number three. Massachusetts militiamen classified, sorry, classed with British troops in April of 1775 at Concord and what other town? Lexington. Lexington, that's correct. Question number four. What literary device is used in this excerpt from a poem by Eve Merriam? In the deep sleep forest, there were ferns, there were feathers, there, were, there was fur. Alliteration. Alliteration, that's correct. Question number five. What dinosaur was an armor, armored plant eater with a bony frill around its neck and three sharp horns on its head? Triceratops. Triceratops, that's correct. Question number six. Who was elected president of the Second Continental Congress and was the first to sign the Declaration of Independence? John Hancock. John Hancock, that's correct. Question number seven. Which layer of the skin is damaged by first degree burns? The epidermis. Epidermis, that's correct. Question number eight. What sea, named for a color, is between southeastern Europe and southwestern Asia? Red Sea? That's incorrect. Correct answer is the Black Sea. Question number nine. The smallest interval between notes in a chromatic scale is a? Half step. A half step. That's correct. Question number ten. What are the two acceptable past participles of the verb shine? Shown and shined. Shown and shined is correct. That concludes round two. I joined the National Guard and never thought I'd be saving lives. I never thought I'd have such an impact on my community. It's more than money for college. It's built my character and given me a sense of accomplishment. Citizen soldiers have two missions. One is right here at home during emergencies. The guard opened the door for me. Now I'm on a career path and I'm the leader of my team. When your country calls, you go, proudly. I put on the uniform and I have a whole new outlook on life. Country, community, family. That's what matters most to me. If that matters to you, go to 1-800-GoGuard.com. Welcome back to Kids Quiz. Joining me today are students from Ashland High School. We're in our third round. Before we begin, the red team so far has 15 points and the blue team has 14 points. We do have a new member on the blue team. If you could give your first and last name and what you're most proud of at Ashland High School. My name is Danielle Ruger and what I'm most proud of at Ashland High School is our teachers. Okay, good luck again in the final round to both teams. Red team, we'll begin with you for our first set of 10 questions. Question number one, the time it takes a comet to make a complete orbit around the sun is called its what? Orbital? That's incorrect. Correct answer is period. 
Question number two. Cleopatra, Hattusaphat, Tutankhamun, and Cheops were probably able to read inscriptions based on what writing system? Hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics, that's correct. Question number three. The adult has four large glassy wings. Its head is occupied almost entirely by compound eyes. Its antennas are small. It cannot walk, but flies as fast as 60 miles per hour. Name these slender, long-bodied insects that lay their eggs in water or on aquatic plants. Dragonflies? Dragonflies, that's correct. Question number four. One angle of a right triangle is 43 degrees. What are the measures of the other two angles? 90 degrees and 46 degrees? That's incorrect. Sorry. Correct answer is 90 and 47. Question number five. There are two categories of flowering plants. Animals, sorry, annuals must be planted each year. What plants have a lifespan of two or more years? Perennials. Perennials, that's correct. Question number six. Name the fundamental part of an atom which carries a negative charge. Electrons. Electrons, that's correct. Question number seven. What word is missing in these cliches? Never a dull, the spur of the, the blank of truth. Moment. Moment, that's correct. Question number eight. Replace the incorrect word in this sentence. Julius Caesar extinguished himself on the battlefields of Gaul. Established? That's incorrect. The correct answer is distinguished. Hmm. Question number nine. What is the title of the highest ranking persons sent to reside in foreign nations as representatives of their home government? Ambassador. Ambassador, that's correct. Finally, question number 10. Express the next prime number larger than five as a binary numeral. One, one, one. That's correct, one, one, one. Blue team, you're next with 10 questions. You ready? Yes. Okay, question number one. A atomic number refers to the number of what type of subatomic particles? Protons. Protons, that's correct. Question number two. What word completes these cliches? Stood the test of? Time. Time, that's correct. Question number three. What two words should have been used below? In the Olympics, Greeks ran races, jumped, hurled the biscuits, and threw the java. Discus and javelin. Discus and javelin, that's correct. Question number four. What parts of a flower are not essential to forming seeds, but do provide a means of attracting insects the petals. The petals, that's correct. Question number five. Canada buys diamonds from South Africa, automobiles from Germany, and coffee from Colombia. Such products shipped to Canada from foreign nations. Imports. Imports, that's correct. Question number six. What is the largest river you fly over between Tampico, Mexico, and San Antonio, Texas? The Rio Grande. The Rio Grande, that's correct. Question number seven. Gabriel Fahrenheit is noted for his invention of the Fahrenheit temperature scale and for his use of what poisonous? Mercury. Mercury, that's correct. Question number eight. This passage is from what novel? Four legs good, two legs bad. Two legs bad? Is it on? like black? No, it's animal. Animal farm? Animal farm, that's correct. Question number nine. Played with light hammers, what percussion instrument consists of a series of metal bars? Xylophone. That's incorrect. The correct answer is glockenspiel. Question number ten. 
Pathogens are agents that cause hallucinations. That's incorrect. The correct answer is disease. We're going to take our final break. within our lifetime? At Rotary, we believe it does. We've created programs at universities around the world dedicated solely to teaching peace to a new generation. There's a new symbol for peace. Rotary. This is a banana. This is a cat. This is fire. This is harmless and actually helpful to some people. Don't believe everything you hear. The fact is that every major health organization rejects smoked marijuana. Now that the smoke is cleared, discover truecompassion.org. Look, my first tooth. Dudley, spit out the toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> That was the first time you brushed your teeth. And I brush twice a day, every day. Oh, here's that nice dentist, Dr. Benchley. Yep, he showed me how to floss. Why are your teeth blue? I use my mouth guard whenever I play sports to protect my smile. And visit the dentist regularly. Remember, brush twice a day and floss once a day. Welcome back to Kids Quiz. Again, joining me today were students from Ashland High School. After three rounds, the red team and blue team were both tied with 22 points. I would like to thank Mr. Mar Mr. Mario Court uh, as uh, the teacher helping the students out, Mrs. Spohr, and Mr. Lake, the principal. Please join us next time on Kids Quiz. Have a good evening. <laughs>